Hi everyone. So uh, today I'm waiting for Preeti to join so that we can start our conversation. Uh, let's wait for two three minutes for her to join. Hi, how are you? Hi, Preeti. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well too. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, shall we start? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So, um, hi everyone. I'm Samyati from Girls First, and we are a community by women for women. And uh, as you all know that. Um, we uh, engage with different kind of women who inspire us and motivate us um, today we have with us preeti from magic of memory and uh, she is here to tell us about um, her uh, entrepreneurship journey and she's a she's an amazing mom so let's know her perspective about this um, hi preeti welcome to girls buzz again Thank and if I've missed out anything about you, please just tell us about yourself. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so, as you've already told everyone that I am an entrepreneur, also a mother. So, uh, this is what I am, actually a mompreneur. I've started yeah. this um, work like around three, three and a half years back. Um, when I when my daughter was around like two years old, so this is the kind of a journey which I wanted to share over here. So we can start uh, around that. Okay, that's so nice. Uh, actually, uh, I'm very curious to know uh, what exactly is uh, DNA jewelry making and keep safe, uh, keep uh, sick jewelry. So please just uh, tell us about that. So DNA jewelry is uh, as the name suggests, it has the DNA of your like like ancestors DNA so okay. uh, for me the DNA jewelry is something which is you know uh, going to pass from generation to generation because uh, obviously no one can live forever so we can at least leave a part of us uh, for our future generation for our kids to you know cherish it and have a part yeah. of us with them even if okay. even if we are not like alive so this is the main motive and the second thing is it preserves the memory so um, as right. i my major thing like my my forte is like breast milk jewelry so breast milk jewelry is something which is very precious because breast milk comes only for a certain amount of time and right. um, that uh, time uh, is the bonding between a mother and the baby and they like share the definite love and everything the uh, it just starts from there only so okay. a mother shares a very uh, deep uh, emotions and overwhelming things over the that period of time so she wants to definitely wants to uh, preserve that uh, part of her milk so that because after weaning her off obviously the milk won't be there but if if you have a yeah. jewelry you can definitely give it to your like child and she can or he right. can uh, cherish forever absolutely right also uh, uh, pretty um I just wanted to know that uh, how did you came up with this idea and how long it had been you uh, have been into this? Um, so uh, actually I have um, started this business um, like around five years back. Actually not five years back. I thought about this uh, concept five okay. years back. Uh, yeah. when my daughter was like around six months so I saw someone uh, doing this kind of a business in Germany she's a very good friend of mine now but I actually did a lot of uh, research and everything so how to start it and um, I did like some research and I found that some people are already been doing in India but I couldn't find the same quality standards and everything I wanted to bring that kind of a standards and uh, quality in India so I did Two years of research before I actually started it. It's uh, it's been three and a half years now. Very nice. Um, so, um, Preeti, uh, would you like to mention any uh, special thing that uh, one of your customers have told you and that uh, stayed uh, for a long time with you that keeps inspiring you? 
yeah uh, one of the customer she told me that she wants to get married and wants to get pregnant as soon as she gets married just to get a jewelry made from me so that was oh, actually okay. a very <laughs> touching thing uh, someone has ever told me yeah. and uh, like there are so many mothers who keep uh, showering so much love to me in my dms and everything so but that uh, thing which she told that she wants to get pregnant only to get a jewelry made from me that made me actually very emotional about it. like i i thought maybe something i'm doing like right <laughs> yeah. yeah right and this is absolutely a unique thing uh, to know and uh, i have uh, seen very rare people practicing this so uh, yeah. keep up with the good work priti thank um, you so much yeah um, so um, would you like to mention any uh, special thing that uh, goes behind the entire process of um, preserving the thing and making the uh, jewelry this itself is very special because the customer she uh, every customer sends me their own breast milk their own umbilical cord hair everything yeah. and um, i have to preserve each milk and label it and keep it uh, separate from every milk because it's like a it's yeah. like maintaining a blood lab so uh, right. this is obviously the breast milk they are sending me it's very special so um, when they place an order they like uh, i ask them the stories behind everything so i i uh, send them the form so that they can share the stories what they have with their children or anything specific which which they have faced after like before they are getting pregnant or something so these stories actually i read them and then that connects me with the jewelry because um uh, all the designing which i do something creative and everything so um all these designing comes from those stories which clients share with me so if somebody once told me that they have a rainbow baby so uh, i got an idea to make a rainbow tree of life with the breast milk and hair so this is just an example but i uh, keep doing these things just according to the stories they share yeah okay so uh, priti initially what kind of uh, challenges uh, did you face um, while starting off with this idea and uh, how did you introduce this concept to people uh challenges i've been facing challenges till now but if you okay. say in the starting uh the biggest challenge was to how to preserve breast milk in a jewelry because right. everybody knows the breast milk goes uh, bad it can smell it can mold but uh, the biggest yeah. channel challenge for me was how to preserve so i uh, tried different methods i uh, did lots of research on that some failed and some passed so i came up with one single method which kept my jewelry for long period of time so um that was the biggest challenge and after <clears> that <throat> um the other challenge was yeah. because all my raw materials comes from uh, abroad so uh, getting yeah. that from abroad was uh, another challenge and then um because after a year of me starting this business covid came so that uh, made my challenge even uh, difficult so this is the challenge which yeah these are the challenges which i faced and even now i all uh, keep facing them <laughs> yeah okay um so i'm sure that you will overcome all the problems that you are facing right now and you are uh, totally amazing i have been uh, thoroughly like uh, been through your profile and this is uh, an amazing concept uh, to be true and um, yeah i was just about to ask you like how uh, did you uh, do you uh, preserve these things and how long uh, these things last as you have already answered it, uh, answered this um i'm moving on to the next question um priti uh, did you take any professional course uh, to learn this uh, particular design or uh, the profession you are into um yeah i did quite a bit of designing courses in jewelry uh, not as such uh, like deeper courses but yeah i did some courses on around resin and everything uh from us um, and um, yeah after like before i started so i did that and that really helped me uh, how to you know um, manage the resin and because it is obviously it's a chemical it's a hazardous chemical so i have to take care yeah. the uh, proper measures before because um, if you don't have any knowledge about that that can even lead to some diseases for the artist so i have to take care of those things before i actually started so yes i did some but not like very deep around breast milk Okay. Yeah. Um, so, Preeti, um, what else? Uh, like you have mentioned, uh, that preserving breast milk. What else can we preserve, such as uh, to, uh, you know, commemorate our memories or emotions attached to some stories? 
like that um actually there is no end to it um, the options are numerous like you have you might have uh, any uh, memories related to any photograph you might have uh, a memory related to a tissue paper you might have a memory related to a flower or something so uh, there there are no options but i have uh, made jewelry out of breast milk hair umbilical cord nail eyelashes um uh, flowers and tooth and uh, um, recently i started uh, making uh, like introduce a new dna that is a blood uh, which i have made uh, blood jewelry also which have already got viral and uh, people were very um, like uh, <laughs> curious about it and i got really trolled about this also in uh, social media but yeah i have uh, introduced this because 90% of the people were like uh, they really want to preserve blood so i okay. never knew that this idea will you know uh, trick some of the people and um, i started getting orders on it i just randomly started it so yeah mm-hmm. i have uh, made so many jewelry even the pet like uh, pet keepsakes also i made fur or uh, uh, flowers and uh, sand and so many things like different things cloth cloth also i have used okay. so there are uh, whatever uh, thing you have memories attached to the clients send me and i convert them into a design yeah yeah right so uh, basically each of these things would require different uh, kind of preservation methods isn't it yeah I- everything yeah. Oh. Uh, is preserved differently and i have really practiced for around 2 years before you know i actually started taking new dna as an uh, option for them um, hair okay. is the most difficult which i found after breast milk uh, hair is very uh, versatile because you can't handle the hair properly so i have actually made a portrait out of hair like mother and baby and everything that was very unique uh, no one was doing it in india as far as i know Really um, nice, yeah. the, the portrait made of like a mother and a baby or mother father baby uh, only with the hair and that too i okay. only do free hand uh, designing i don't use any stencil or something uh, i have already shared this as a reel also that uh, this is very difficult but i actually tried doing that so this is something i do yeah yeah um priti uh, as uh, you are a mother and you are also uh, in contact with a lot of mothers who are uh, into breast feeding uh, their um, child so is there any um, myth that you would like to burst about uh, breast feeding uh breast feeding so uh, yeah i yeah. um this myth was uh, there with me also that uh, you should not drink too much water if you are breastfeeding your child the milk will become very watery this is a myth uh, it is actually a myth uh, so drinking lots of water will always uh, gives you a best breast milk and um, if you talk about uh, related to breast milk uh, jewelry i have got uh, like hate messages that you are using the milk which is uh, has to be consumed by the baby but uh, that is also a myth because uh, yeah. if you if you are a mother you will know that if you are feeding your child um, the from one breast the other breast will always leak so you can collect that milk uh, if uh, like despite from throwing it you can actually use it to get a jewelry made or medicine made or you can even keep the breast milk in the freezer for um numerous number of options even you can put it in the eye also so there are so many myths around breast milk uh, and breast feeding which i would uh, really if uh, this is another whole another topic of like we have to talk about yeah totally mm-hmm. um so uh, priti another thing also that uh, you have mentioned about uh, creating a different kind of uh, using different kind of memories uh, like the breast milk and hair and blood so uh, this uh, this would take a lot of time uh, and uh, i just want to know that uh, ma- while making this a uh, personalized uh, design um, uh, is uh, this whole thing um, uh, preventing some of your uh, or limiting your uh, scalability of uh, business um, no some, i uh, I, yeah. i don't think so because obviously uh, this is a customized thing so people always think that there, there is no scalability but this is not true actually because uh, even though i am the only artist i can make 10 jewelries in a day so if i have a big team uh, which i am al- already planning to keep uh, if i have a big team for each of the uh, task so only the artist work only i have to do so i can even make a 10 to 20 jewelries in a single day 
so it can always lead to scalability and um, uh, you can i even have hundreds and 200s of orders a month and uh, there will always an option to scale it more uh, like if i talk about the scalability i can uh, tell you that i can do uh, b2b work i can uh, actually keep a team only for the breast milk preservation thing keeping a yeah. secret yeah. formula with ma- myself so this is yeah. uh, just like the big companies have done like if you uh, see around the food industry the kfc dominos they don't share their secret formula but they have a team right. they have scaled it so that's yeah. how i can also do that if you right. have Absolutely. a secret with you then uh, there is the scalability is an option yeah, yeah. and uh, it's also very nice uh, to see that people loving your idea and uh, they are even motivating you they are even uh, placing order for uh, preserving their memories and emotion that's really nice uh, how you connect with those people um, yeah thank you yeah um, so uh, priti uh, like um, it's been years you have practicing this and um, what have you enjoyed the most about uh, being your uh, own boss um actually being a own boss um, um, enjoyment i don't know <laughs> but obviously if you are a your own job a uh, boss then you have to keep working 24/7 <laughs> you don't have yeah, a absolutely. single day yes. you don't have a saturday sunday for you 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 are keep you keep working every day and even the night also right. you keep uh, talking to your clients because in my case my, the mothers always get free if after their child you know sleeps at night so mostly i get yeah. messages around 12 11 11 and a one one ish so i am always busy but if you'll ask me the best thing about being a boss of your own is that that you can uh, do the time management you can do this right. same task at another point of time if you are like working as a corporate job you have to do this work at a certain amount of time only that's the right. only thing yeah. so i work in early morning in the night so i I keep the timing uh, according to me and my daughter's uh, schedule. That's how I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, Priti, actually, for uh, this business of yours, um, have you ever raised uh, funding for it initially? Uh, and like, what are your future plans with this? Um, not, not so far. I have not done any funding. Um, with very minimal uh, investment i started and um, like in the future i have already planned for uh, raising a funding for this because i am going to uh, plan to like you know uh, establish a firm at a bigger scale uh, so yeah obviously i am uh, i have to get a funding done so there yeah. are some plans which i which are like on in the loop so which i can't uh, share at the moment but yeah definitely i'm going to start uh, with the funding yeah it is totally understandable yeah yes and um, what is your your uh, like own success mantra which you follow My, regularly uh the success mantra which i follow is uh, the consistency and dedication is the only two things which you need if you want to get successful you know you have to right. keep doing it keep doing it every yeah. day and i think there were days when i was like uh, thinking of giving up this business because no the orders were not coming the covid time was very difficult people have yes. uh, started and uh, you know quit their business around that time but you have to keep sticking to something which you you know uh, you have to keep believing that it will work and uh, definitely yes. trust me it definitely works because uh, in my case if if i can tell you i was around uh, just Uh, like august 2021 i was i was at 3000 followers and this is august 2022 and i am at 60000 yeah. followers so this all obviously if you keep sticks keep sticking to this uh, thing that you have to make, make it work okay. it will definitely work out for you uh, there is no other option for that yeah i totally agree with you yeah. it's completely dedication hard work and the effort yeah. you have put to really connect with those people to bring out this really nice and unique concept to them thank you so much um okay so uh, for the uh, viewers who are watching us uh, if you have any questions related to this uh, you can put there in the comment section or in the question section uh, after interacting with uh, priti we can uh, take your question um so uh, priti uh, do you have a piece of advice for the women uh, who want to venture into something that is uh, very unique like yours 
yeah if if you are thinking about something very unique and you want to start it just start it without thinking without giving it a choice because if you keep thinking you will keep on thinking even if even after 5 years or 10 years you'll keep on thinking but you have to start at a point you have to make yeah. up your mind that i have to do it so i have to start start from zero even if you are going in minus or you know losing money you still have to stick on it and then it will definitely work out for you in the near future this is um, there is no other option uh, around this time um, okay. this is the only thing which i always tell to the client like clients who wants to start something some business or they keep asking me if i teach them or not if i can if i can you know uh, share the secrets but i don't do that but if you want to start something just start it you know keep practicing it um, like uh, there are so many resin um, because uh, breast milk jewelry is all around uh, resin okay. work so there are so many resin um, available on amazon if you want to work ar- around resin you can order it and then start doing something you know after starting only you will know that how to do this so just right. start yeah. yeah and absolutely it's right that uh, you will uh, fail sometimes but uh, that's more important that you will learn after that and uh, yes. as you have mentioned that there are different platforms where uh, through which you can sell your products and everything and virtually it's like a wide range of options for everyone out yeah. there so we just need to come up and explore those uh, platforms yeah this, this is a whole another world actually like people were yes. not very aware about this because even if you take about like talk about the photographs they are also memories yes. but uh, this is something which is uh, you know they have they have dna so dna yes. of your blood of your ancestors they are pa- you are passing it to your generation and the, and they are passing it to your future generation so they are you know you, you are going to live uh, on this earth forever even if you die so yes. this is something which is very uh, uh, deep about this jewelry and it has a whole new scenario whole new world uh, you know whole new business yes. uh, thing around this so this is actually a new concept but people are getting to know and they are really appreciating it and um, this business is actually growing in india so i am very yeah. proud of this that uh, there are so many artists um, not me there are other artists as well they are doing wonderful job and um, the amount of clients uh, in india we have the biggest market in india there are 2 yeah. billion people and they have biggest market but the artists are less so i think uh even if you start, have hundreds of artists they are also less for that so the business is there yeah. and you just have to start it okay just mm-hmm. keep uh, trying and trying and then you will definitely yeah. find a way exactly yeah. definitely um so pp i'm taking a minute to just see uh, if there are uh, questions for you sure sure um yeah there are people praising yeah there are so many comments here it's really nice uh, how um, just uh, introduced this whole idea and you are still uh, going on with this and you keep motivating other women as well too yeah thank you so much if, even if yeah. you have some uh, questions and anything you can always dm i will uh, definitely get back to you yeah definitely um so uh, there are no questions here preeti um viewers if you have any question you can definitely reach out to her um, the account is uh, the magic of memories and uh, she is definitely here to guide you all um, mm-hmm. and thank you so much preeti for joining us today uh, yeah. i had a wonderful time yeah thank you so much uh yeah there is um uh, this one question um someone is asking when are you uh, going to serve people globally i am actually planning to start uh, this business globally uh, there are some challenges which i have to you know clear the path for that but i will definitely start this global like in 2023 definitely we are looking forward to this Yeah, uh, you can so, uh, definitely reach yeah. out to me on DMs and I will definitely answer. Yeah. Yeah. Um so 
uh, the people who are watching us thank you so much for uh, joining us today and pretty um, i am really humbled to have you over today uh, thank you so much for having me all the best for your future and keep motivating us thank you so much thank you take care bye bye thank you